it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, April 3rd on a Wednesday. S&P up 11 and a half, NASDAQ up 78, Russell up 18, Dow unchanged. Gold up one and a half percent, silver up almost 5%. Notes and bonds flat, 10-year yield flat. Oil slightly green, natty gas slightly red. Grains are green, euro and the pound green. Bitcoin slightly green. VIX 14.30. Looks like we got a straddle. It's hovering around up day. Assuming that holds on. In other words, assuming we don't drop here in the next few minutes, I am going to go ahead and treat it like an up day. I did. I added up day to my challenge portfolio. I'm going to let the bots do that thing. So if it doesn't qualify, it's not going to qualify. I won't trade it. But in my other account, I will do... Uh, I will trade it like an update. Looks like right now it'd be a straddle at the 5220 strike. Uh, as far as what I did today. So in my non challenge portfolio account, the O2 call calendar was a loser. Minus 800 JSPs winner. I uh, did one price action, hit 20, 40%, and then held the rest till 80. So a little over 2,100 on that. My AM ratio 945 hit 40 and 80%. Uh, that's my rut hedge from yesterday. That one's down. NDX is out of bounds. That one's probably going to be a loser. My rut hedge from today's up a little bit. And then I put on a PM iron condor up day trade at 2.30 Eastern. That one's up about 7% in my, so all in all, I'm up about 4,500 in that account. On my challenge portfolio, got slapped around this morning. Uh, well, first of all, it, it took a it took my re-entries and a RIC that had the, uh, the VIX filters off, so I closed that right away, so ended up taking a little loss on that, but Got stopped out of my first two re-entries, my three, two, my one to one. So I was down 11, 11 K out of the gate after that big, big jump. Uh, got back in and got, uh, stopped out for a profit on both of my next two. My one DTE is up 11%. And then my current active three, two is up about 4,000. My one to one's up about almost 5,000. So I've scratched my way back. I'm up 145 bucks in the challenge portfolio. And nice. then, um, yeah, so that's it for me. I took a, uh, I took an ES futures trade. I posted it in the day trading channel. I took it as a, an upside volume runner, two contracts. You can see here, had that big spike in volume on that big push up, pulled back, got long. Got out there and there for a uh, five fifty. Wait, it doesn't sound right. I should be up more than that. Anyway, less than a thousand. I thought I was up like eight fifty, but what say you, Chadwick? Yeah. So, uh, in my TLC account, everything's been great. Um, am number one, booked uh. 20% thing got stopped out on that quick drop down. AM2, 20, 40, 60. It's setting 
pretty much dead center. It's going to probably expire within it. So big winner there, lunchtime one, 20, 40, 60, 80, and out, and out. Big winner there, lunchtime number two, 20%. That's where I'm at right now. So, and just got filled on the 5220 uh, 50, straddle, power hour one. Um, my other account, I was posted in our chat. Um, I had just put on a TLC trade when that drop happened <laughs> and the slippage was ridiculous and it ended up being a 6k loser. Uh, should have been about a $2,800 loser. So I have scratched and clawed back in that one. It's almost uh break even. So I can only imagine what, what it could have been without that real quick push down. All right, I'm going to go into tranche one at the 20 straddle. Oh, my one DTE is also up. It's about ready to hit 30%. So I did that one too. Build on this 20 straddle, two to one at $10 and... 10.15 and 10.30. So let me get my OCO on here. I'm going, I'm going old school manual style here. All right. So let's see, my stop is going to be six bucks. Oh, I did the NDX trade too, and that's going to be a loser. Uh, yeah, Gonzalo. So my bot was uh, scouring the criteria to see if it would fire. We're technically outside the range. SPX is currently at 0.46% instead of 0.5%. So the it didn't qualify from the bot's perspective. So I'm, I'm just uh, overriding that because it's so close. And so I, I manually went in. Like I'm sure I'm trading. I added updates to my update power hours to my challenge portfolio as well, which did not qualify. So that won't fire. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with that. But in this account, I'm uh, just using a little discretion to go ahead and jump in. And so I was, I was trying to manually launch it with my bot, but because the other one was in the window of trying to potentially enter, uh, it wouldn't let me. So I had to manually jump in. Use a little bit of a bounce here. Yeah, my one DTE is up about 10%. So if it hangs out, if it doesn't rip up too much, one DTE has got a chance at a, it's probably not going to hit profit target, but chance at a profit. After being in the red for a good part of the day. Uh, 
Uh, Dark Avenger, no, I meant to push down. That 15 point Quick drop little. in five minutes. That's, That's right when Jay Pow is talking, it looks like. Yeah, then, then it just, you know, was so crazy about it, it immediately bounced right back up. So, like, the trade was on probably less than two minutes. It's crazy. I hadn't really had that happen before that bad, that quick. Quickest stop out, new record? Yeah, I mean, it had to be. <laughs> and if we're not careful here on this, my power hour is going to be the same. I got to close 30% of my one DTE. Oh my gosh. You know what I just noticed? My bot end up did end up firing. So I've got double the position size on that I wanted to. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Let's see if I get a little bounce here. Did not realize it till just now. Yeah, I got stopped on my lunchtime number two just got stopped. After 20%, so it's going to be about a scratch trade. So what I think I did is I tried to manually launch. And it was delayed because the other one was still trying to, was still within the window. And then as soon as it got out of the window, my manual launch must have fired. After I put in my manual, manual trade and toss, so. All right, let's see if we can get a little bounce and I'll get out of some of this. If we don't, I'm not going to be very happy about it. The smart thing to do, do as I say, not as I do. The smart thing would do be to just get out and take a loss on half of this. But I don't, I'm not always the smartest guy, Chad, you know? Well, that the first NDX trade I did on Monday, like instead of two contracts, I did 10 and then it got, it went bad. Yeah. Because I went too big. I just had a habit with SPX doing 10 contracts. And I was like, oh, no. The other reason I'm not super quick to get out here is, I mean, it is it is a an up day for the most part. So I like the, I like the odds. So I'm okay being a little bit bigger. My challenge portfolio didn't take it, so it's not like I'm oversized by any means, but just a little bigger size than I wanted to get in at. So here's my power hour tranche one. Here is my PM iron condor. Yeah, right, Elliot. I'll yeah. Or I'll yeah, I'll go lighter at least for sure. My lunchtime number two ended up being a minus two twenty-five. So I've had two scratch trades, two big winners, and one power hour trade to go. Put on and, the one, uh, two. Oh, go ahead. Well, and my my one DT iron condor still still have it on. Put on a one two DTE double calendar. That one's at a that a scratch up about one percent. And then my three four from Monday took half of that off at twenty percent. It's up about twenty seven percent now. I've still got half of that on. And then my two three from yesterday. It's up about 16%. I've got an order to close half of that at 20% if it if it hits.
Could use a little bump up. Gold is still on fire to the upside. New all-time highs. Definitely pumped some juice into our short premium. It's down, pretty centered, but down. Yeah, so my PM Iron Condor and my Tranche 1 are both both at the 20 straddle. I would take a 20 pin today. I think that'd be good. I would enjoy a 20 pin. Faded decay there. Well, I thought the biggest concern today would be the Fed speakers, including Jerome, but in reality. The ISM services PMI is what caused that big bounce. Or at least that's when the market started to bounce. Can you hear me, Kelvin? Yeah, there's a little bit of a uh, something happened there. Okay. Got you now. Good, good, good. So tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. So tomorrow we have unemployment claims pre-market and then a couple or a couple more Fed speakers at 1115 and 1 p.m. Central. Barkin and Mester. I have been adding some short flies in my tradier account. So they started getting over a dollar. So let's see, the first one I added was 25. Got into that one for a dollar 10. I added the 52.20. Got into that for buck 30. And then I added the 15s. For a buck twenty.
need a healthy bounce here. About about three dollars and sixty cents of credit. So if I can get some more credit between now and the close, and then try to vertical that off, might have a shot at doing my homes at the end of the day as well. Yeah, but for now we need a bounce. Almost had thirty percent of my one DTE, but. This push down has hurt that. And a little spike in IV. You were up 30% on your one DT? Almost. No, I was like a I was like at 25. I'm at uh, 14 right now. I could have taken it off at 20%, or at least gotten rid of half at 20, but you must have got in a little bit later after we bounced. Yes, I did. Mm. This tranche two would go on here in a couple minutes. Like it might be five wide, 15s and 20s. Yeah, premiums. I don't even know if that's going to be worth it for me. Hanging out right at the expected move. Right where we bounced before. I wondered if it was going to come down there to where that drop went to. Yeah, Tranche and 2 looks like the 15 straddle now. Whoa. Yep. Not good. Stopped. Wow. Stopped on tranche one. Slippage. Well, we're again. definitely not an update now, so I won't be entering tranche no. two. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Still in my PM iron condor. Yeah, man, that really did damage to my one DTE as well. The down move is helping my 1DT. I'm now up 23% of mine. I'm, I'm, I'm barely up now. I guess so I should you, have taken... You must have, did you get in after the big up move? I got in, yeah, because I was okay. live streaming. Gotcha. Um, so I couldn't, I, you know, I was live streaming the other stuff, so I didn't get in until... Yeah, like like nine fifty. I put on a one DT. Ah, oh, it's disappointing. Now, oh, now I'm getting corrupt. Yes, now I'm negative in it. Stopped out of my PM iron condor.
Woo! Getting dirty now. I have some puts though I, I or can't something. Even, yeah, I can't even get out. I can't even get out of my here we go. Finally got out of my one DTE. Hey, I'm positive in my NDX. Oh, yeah, NDX. Somehow I got filled at a buck fifty on my fifty two ten call fly before it really flushed. Man, I should have left some of my puts on. So I've got a free shot with my uh, short butterflies. Wow. What a nightmare. NDX is back in range, baby. <laughs> what a nightmare. Didn't think I'd see that. Still got some long puts, but we bounce now. I got stopped out for a profit on my two re-entries, but my one DTE is now sitting pretty. Yeah, I closed mine because it was sitting terrible. Now it's bounced back up. I could even use a little bit more down move on mine because I got in right at the open. It's up about 37%, so I may end up on a profit target if it sits. Wow. I have had a couple really go south on these push downs today. All right. We might as well get nasty to the downside. Let's pump some juice into these puts. Yep. Let's do it. VIX popped up to about 14.85, back down to 14.54. Nice, Dave S. That definitely put me into the uh, into the red. My Challenge portfolio is down about 4,500 and my other account down about the same. Looking at the moves today, it's made a big, big up, big down bookend morning and afternoon.
Yeah, let's get nasty. Get that NDX back down and centered. My upper NDX is right here. I'm at the uh, 18140. So I need to stay below 18140 in NDX. Check mine. Yeah, same, pretty much the same here, below Oh, actually, I got a partial fill on this one. Still green for TLC, but overall. Green is good. But overall, not thanks to that push down when Jerome was speaking and that push down right there. If you're green after two full stop outs, or is that, or did you hit 20% before getting stopped out? Uh, I've had two, well, I'm talking about two different accounts here combined. Gotcha. Green and one, red and the other. Come on, flush, baby. Flush it out. Let's finish what we started here. My puts for my power hour for 60 cents right now. Let's, let's get them going. And that VIX spike up was... I just came right back down. So I was, I was starting to explain this before I got rudely interrupted by SPX, but I started selling some butterflies up here at 25 when we were right around. So about one o'clock central got filled on the 25s at a buck 10 sold the twenties for a dollar 30 sold the 15s for a dollar 20. And then I got filled on four out of my five at a buck fifty. So now I've got this. So I've got a hundred dollars of risk for a potential. If we sit here or lower, I'll make twenty four hundred on that. I'm trying to get filled on the O fives for a dollar O five, but no fill yet. Come on, let's drop. Chris, I thought there was just a nine-point move left like two hours ago.
my 5160 puts for my tranche one are sitting at they're only up 10 or 15 <laughs> cents. Let's go. I got to stop closing my longs out. I used to always leave all of them open. Now I kind of tend to close them out. I'd say you're probably better off over the long run, but it is nice yeah. when you catch those. That's kind of what I thought. You know, because you can close them out for 10, 15 cents. Like over time, that adds up. Mm hmm. I'll close half mine at 20 cents if we drop. I can't believe my NDX is back in play. I just can't. Hmm. Yep, I, I wrote that one off. Yeah, so did I. See what are the uh, stocks doing here? Looks like regional banks are down, retails down, financials are down. Hillray is up seventeen percent. GE a little bounce back, up six and a half. Spotify is up six and a half. Bitcoin stocks, Coinbase, Meta, Netflix up two. NVIDIA's down a little bit. What was the news on cannabis, Dark Avenger? Is there something? Politically going on, potential legalization or something. Trying to get filled on the 5205 fly for a buck oh five. It's right there. It's not filling yet. There we go. Just got filled. So now my short flies look like this. So worst I could do is make 425. Most I could make is 29, 2009, 25. That's puts are worth a dollar twenty now. They're worth sixty cents. Yeah, Kelvin. So essentially, what I'm doing is I'm just I'm selling five dollar wide butterflies at each strike. 
And once once your once your total credit adds up above five dollars because they're five wide, then it's a free shot. Well, I usually I'll start, not always, but I'll usually if if I can start getting a dollar credit at least by about one o'clock. So my first one I got filled at like right around one o'clock for dollar ten when I was up here at fifty uh fifty two twenty five, and then as it kind of came down to twenty, I got filled on that one. Fifteen, I got filled on that one. Ten, oh five. So just kind of. Trying to get filled for at least a dollar. Yeah, so whatever strike is trading around is where you're going to get the most credit. So I just alternate. I do calls and puts, actually. So let's see my... They're the exact same thing, but let's see. I got on my 25s, that was a call. 20s, that was a that was a put. So this is actually a put fly. And then my 15s were a call. My, my 05s were calls. My tens were puts. You could do all calls, all puts. Switch them around like this. They're going to overlap, but it doesn't matter. I mean, all this is, this is what it would, this is the outcome. Ideally, I'd like to close below 5,200. Okay. Yeah, so when I did the so when I did the 25s, for example, I start I started with calls. It doesn't matter. Calls puts they're they're gonna be priced identically. So if I sell a butterfly here, then the next one I would just switch over to puts. So if it's the 20, then I would sell one here. Um, and, and you're just, I, I just, I just alternate. So it's not as much overlap and then it's, it's easier to, it's just easier for me mentally to keep track of, but. You could do all calls, all puts there. The strikes are going to overlap, but that's your, that's your result. I think uh, doing that live, doing the day trading live stream this morning probably helped me miss that big push up. You would have, you would have probably got in right here when it started consolidating, right? Probably. I actually was long. Um, what was I long? Mu, I think, when I did that. I had just gotten out of a square long as well, a mighty ninety. Gave me two green bars. I got out right before the next bar, and then it just blew up. Still a nice winter, but I was like, oh, man. Okay. 
Ah, uh, come on now. Bounce Hold up on. to fifty two oh eight. Hold on, NDX. You were so good to come back down for us. Don't go back out. Oh. Still have twenty five minutes to, to go. Yeah. Shucks. Very tough for Delta neutral when you're getting these types of back and forth. Uh, Fish, here you go. So my NDX about 65, almost 66% is the win rate. By the way, that cumulative PL, that's not quite right because this one will settle out. It'll be uh, about an eight hundred fifty dollar winner. So take about take about four grand off that as far as the profit goes. But and then I also was doing it a little bit different. So I would say let's go from like February twelfth is when I first started doing it the way I do now. Through April 2nd. So yeah, staying about 65%. Which falls pretty close in line, you know, one standard deviation, 68%. I'm usually right inside the standard deviation, so that's about right. Uh oh, Doctor Chad, the Chad is back. What's that? Oh, is he a question? <laughs> I'm just saying he's back. Oh, he's coming! He's coming for you. Uh, oh, yeah. No, no management on those, Chad. Just uh, I just let him expire. Yeah, NDX, that's not what we're looking for here. No, it's just today's been a, a wild ride of VIX pop up, VIX pop down, SP pop up and down. So very hard to very hard to be delta neutral. I'm surprised I'm green with my TLC trades, honestly. I finished uh plus 1980. But one DTE and NDX, not good. Well, NDX, still got a chance. Uh, the rut hedge has been awesome. In the short amount of time I've been trading it. I think the SPX back test that I should have had like a 53% win rate. I've only had one loser. 85% winners. <laughs> so it is, it's outperformed itself so far. Now, the one put on yesterday will be a loser. The one expiring today. Yeah, that'll be a loser. Although we do have 20 minutes left, so never know. What I put on today is at about break even. Vix all the way back down to where that spike happened.
Yeah, need about 12 points lower in NDX. Well, I was sitting pretty under 5,200, but <clears throat> now I'm back to the minimal profit area. More flies. SPX back in the green. NDX is barely green. We need NDX to finish barely red on the day. Still got my one DTE going. Up about 28%. Got the MOC number here in about six minutes. Maybe we can get a big MOC trade to end the day. Does not look like it's going to do it for us. Vic's coming down below where that spike was. See the fifty two fifteens. Only trading for a buck fifty. I don't think it's going to get there. Only got five minutes before it gets to two bucks. Of course, we're in between strikes, so.
Had a great conversation this afternoon with everybody's favorite Italiano, Mauro. Look for that on an upcoming pod episode. Good stuff. I think you're going to like it. Well, since it looks like it's pushing up and there's only 14 minutes left, I'm going to go ahead and get on the road since I don't have any positions other than the NDX. So... Get Alrighty. the boys from one. the bus stop. Yep. We'll catch you all tomorrow live in the morning. Peace. See ya. Chad will be streaming live at the open for Mighty 90 and Runners. Fifty two fifteen is currently trading at about a dollar seventy five, maybe with twelve minutes to go, with two minutes to enter. Put my two dollar order in, I don't think it's going to hit. Get a big MOC cell number. Seven billion on the cell side is what I'd like to see. Coming out in about 30 seconds. Yeah, that V-slap's been a magnet today. <laughs> the expected V-slap. Acted as a V pop and a V slap today. All right, MOC number incoming. About 10 seconds. Trading up to $1.90. I'll cancel it right after the MOC number. One point six billion sell side. So no MOC trade. Going once for two dollars. Going twice. Woo, filled. Okay, I'm in. So the two bucks on the fifty two fifteen.
my verticals in. So I just need a little movement either way, preferably down for my NDX. Madam, did you get in? I gave it an extra 45 seconds and I got filled. Oh, I got filled on my remaining one lot on my, so I moved this from four to five. So in my earlier flies, worst case scenario, I make 575. Need a move away from 15. No, I'm going to pass on the 2.5. I, I haven't been trading that. I don't, <clears throat> I may even take that off my plan. Dick's hanging out at 14.3. All right, SPX, need a little shake and bake. Shake and bake, five minutes to go. So, madam, for your verticals, are you doing uh are you doing credit spreads for both both sides? I guess it would just be on one side. Debit, yeah. Okay. All right, a little bit lower. My uh, call spread should get filled. It's trading at a buck ten. We're below fifty two ten. There we go. Oh, I got two. Okay, there we go. Now I'm. Footloose and fancy free. So I got filled on the call butterfly and the call spread. 
and I got filled on my one DTE, made about 39% on that. So here's what my magic Mahomes looks like. Worst case scenario, make 2000. If we rip above 5220 by chance, we could make 12,000. It looks like my one DTE closed for plus 37%. So my challenge portfolio ended down about 4,300 on the day. So I gave back about a third of what I made yesterday. Or two minutes to go. Let's see, big bounce. Actually, what's NDX doing? It's yeah, NDX is true. NDX needs to move down. I'll take a move down. Fifty-two twelve. One minute to go. Yeah, I cheated a little bit, Dow. I gave it, I gave it, I got filled like 45 seconds after. No, 29 seconds after. So I gave it, I gave it 30 seconds. Past my, past the time I like to get filled. I got two bucks. Three, two, one, ding, ding, ding. All right, so I made, made some back with my homes, 2,000 on that one, and then on my earlier flies, what was it, five something? Plus 575, that helps. All right, all, Chad will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. We'll be back for Power Hour. Everybody have a good night.